just a few months ago, we did an interview with Clyde Yancey. And at the time, we were talking about you know, the original AHEF study. And I was saying that it was a little controversial. And his response was, you think? We were talking about one of the early publications of Aheft, and then a very recent publication in, in Jack Heart Failure, and the whole concept that breakthrough science is really still coming out of that paper. So I was trying to be a little diplomatic now. Yes, it is a controversial area, we agree. Now with Dr. Shripal Bangalore, who is an MD and director of research, the cardiac catheterization laboratory and an associate professor of medicine at the New York University School of Medicine. And this is a paper that is coming out in JAK. It's a detailed look at the comparative effectiveness of ACE inhibitors in blacks versus white. This really was controversial years ago. Is it really still? Yeah, so uh, I would say that if you look at major hypertension guidelines, ACE inhibitors is up top. Right, and so what has happened is people just use ACE inhibitors as first-line agents for everybody, regardless of race. Yeah, that's what it says, and that's what, and people don't read the fine print, but there is this lingering doubt about the efficacy of ACE. I mean, started with all had 15,000 patients and uh, black patients were included there, and there was this question, maybe they're not as effective. And of course, there's all other data, So, but we really wanted to see, these are all subgroup analyses from large randomized trials, so the cohorts were very small. So we wanted to see what is the real world efficacy of using an ACE inhibitor in, uh, in blacks when you compare it to uh, uh, whites. So how large was this study and what did you do? Where, who were yeah. these people? Yeah. So, you know, this is a database from the Health and Hospital Corporation. So it's a network of many different hospitals in New York City. So being an inner city population, we do have a pretty enriched group of black patients. Uh, so what we did was we wanted to look at new users of ACE inhibitors. So we defined that as if somebody has not used ACE in the last six months but started ACE, um, and they should be either uh, self-declared black or white, and we had 50,000 patients. So that's a lot, lot of patients, and then we categorized them as whether they were using ACE versus not using ACE and looked at, looked at their outcomes. And what did you find? So we found something interesting. So what we found was in, among blacks, uh, if they were on ACE, there was actually an increase in the risk of composite outcomes. Our composite outcomes was uh, death, MI, or stroke. We also found that there was increase in the risk of MI, there was increase in the risk of stroke, and also increase in the risk of heart failure. And what we also found was there was a race-ace interaction in the sense that um, for, the, for whites, if you are on ACE, uh, there was no harm, but if you, are on, uh, if you are a black and on ACE, there was increased risk in composite outcomes. Um, and again, for the uh, white patients, if, they, if you were on ACE, there was actually an, a reduction in mortality with, with using ACE. Now, the only good news was the black ACE group was no more likely to develop adverse effects than the white ACE group. Right, I, I guess you... That's, the, that's marginally good news. I mean, right. it, it obviously is mostly a bad news situation, right. but you did find that, which was yeah. almost surprising. Yeah, so I think it depends on what you call adverse events, right? I mean. Uh, cough, everything else is adverse events, but for me, right. having a MI and stroke is much Those more really of an yeah, adverse, adverse event. event, yeah. Now, in an editorial comment by Richard J. Kovacs in the same issue, he says the opportunity to improve outcomes is staggering once you look at this. Yeah. So, just not use ACE inhibitors? Um, I wouldn't say that. I think we have to be very careful. I mean, we see this data, and that the data is also supported by subgroup analysis of randomized trials. In other words, if you use ACE in blacks, the blood pressure control might be not be as optimal. So in other words, if you are using ACE for whatever reason, uh, please be reminded of this data. Maybe you should add something else. Right. And so, um, and maybe it should not be the first line therapy for. Yeah, because that's what Dr. Kovacs was saying. He said that blood pressure should be controlled with one to two alternative antihypertensive agents after simple education of the frontline providers. Yeah, absolutely, completely agree. I mean, that's really what needs to be done right now. It's the, the, the doctors themselves who need to get the data and understand that there is an issue here yeah. and that, you know, while we want to treat patients equally, in this case, as Dr. Yancey first pointed out and, and got holy hell for it, if you'll yeah, pardon the expression, uh, they just respond differently to yeah. ACE inhibitors. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's critical because sometimes the message gets lost. Uh, you know, the message usually is ACE is one of the frontline agents for treatment of hypertension. 
And sometimes we don't think about this uh, difference based on race. Uh, so I think that's the key message to think. And you have a patient in front of you, and if it is, uh, if, if it is a black patient, you need to consider alternatives. In fact, as a follow-up to this paper, we published in American Journal of Medicine, where we showed that uh, compared to ACE, thiazide diuretics and CCBs do better for, um, uh, for blacks. And I think this is a critical message, and it's actually very consistent with the guidelines. Yeah, and it's consistent with what Dr. Yancey was presenting yeah. years ago, that yeah. there are options out there that yeah. do seem to be quite effective. Yeah. Please check Jack for this particular paper and for Cardiosource World News. I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.